Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Fiber to Fabric. Question number 1. The rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk is called Option A. Cocoon. Option B. Silk. Option C. Sericulture. Option D. Silviculture. The correct answer is Option C. Sericulture. Sericulture is a practice of rearing silkworms for obtaining silk while silviculture is a practice of developing and caring forests. Question number 2. Which of the following is not a type of silk? Option A. Mulberry silk. Option B. Tassar silk. Option C. Moonga silk. Option D. Moth silk. The correct answer is Option D. Moth silk. Moth is the silkworm under development inside a cocoon. Mulberry, Tassar and Moonga are varieties of silk produced by different rearing practices. Question number 3. Paheli wanted to buy a gift made of animal fiber obtained without killing the animal. Which of the following would be the right gift for her to buy? Option A. Woolen shawl. Option B. Silk scarf. Option C. Animal fur cap. Option D. Leather jacket. The correct answer is Option A. Woolen shawl. Rest of the options given here are obtained by killing animals, but wool is produced from shearing of skin of sheep. Question number 4. Silk fiber is obtained from Option A. Fleece of sheep. Option B. Cotton ball. Option C. Cocoon. Option D. Shiny jute style. The correct answer is Option C. Cocoon. Cocoon is one of the stage of life cycle of silkworm. Fleece of sheep gives wool, cotton ball gives cotton, and jute stalk gives jute fiber. Question number 5. Wool fiber cannot be obtained from which of the following? Option A. Goat. Option B. Llama. Option C. Alpaca. Option D. Moth. The correct answer is Option D. Moth. Moth is an insect while other three are animals with fur which produce wool. Question number 6. Selective breeding is a process of Option A. Selecting the offsprings with desired properties. Option B. Selecting the parents with desired properties. Option C. Selecting an area for breeding. Option D. Selecting fine hair for good quality wool. The correct answer is Option B. Selecting the parents with desired properties. Hence certain desired traits, properties, of parents are considered before breeding. It is called selective breeding. Question number 7. The general process that takes place at sheep shearing shed is Option A. Removal of fleece. Option B. Separating hair of different textures. Option C. Washing of sheep fiber to remove grease. Option D. Rolling of sheep fiber into yarn. The correct answer is Option A. Removal of fleece. Removal of fleece is called sheep shearing. Separating hair of different textures is called sorting. Washing wool to remove grease is called scouring and rolling of sheep fiber into yarn is called rolling. Question number 8. The term sericulture is used for Option A. Culture of bacteria. Option B. Rearing of silkworm. Option C. Making silk fabric from silk yarn. Option D. Production of saris. The correct answer is Option B. Rearing of silkworm. 
Sericulture is the rearing of silkworm to obtain slick fiber. Sericulture means silk farming. Question number 9. Reeling of slick is. Option A. A process of making silk reels. Option B. Spinning of silk fibers. Option C. Weaving of silk cloth. Option D. The process of taking silk threads from cocoon. The correct answer is Option D. The process of taking silk threads from cocoon. Reeling of silk is the process of taking out threads from the cocoon for use as silk. Question number 10. Silkworms secrete fiber made of Option A. Fat. Option B. Cellulose. Option C. Protein. Option D. Nylon. The correct answer is Option C. Protein. Silk protein consists of sericin and fibroin mainly. Fat and cellulose are not present in silk. Nylon is a synthetic fiber. Question number 11. The bacterium by which the people working in wool industry get infected is Option A. Rhizobium. Option B. Anthrax. Option C. Streptococcus. Option D. Bacillus. The correct answer is Option B. Anthrax. The bacterium by which the people working in wool industry get infected is anthrax, which causes a fatal blood disease called Sauter's disease. Such risks faced by workers in any industry are called occupational hazards. Question number 12. Food of the caterpillar in case of silk moth is Option A. Mulberry leaves. Option B. Neem leaves. Option C. Tulsi leaves. Option D. Pudina leaves. The correct answer is Option A. Mulberry leaves. Food of the caterpillar in case of silk moth is mulberry leaves. Caterpillar eat mulberry leaves day and night and increase enormously in size. Question number 13. Find from the following where silk industry began. Option A. India. Option B. China. Option C. Tibet. Option D. Africa. The correct answer is. Option B. China. Silk industry began in China and was kept a closely guarded secret for hundreds of years. Later on, traders and travelers introduced silk to other countries. The route they traveled is still called the Silk Route. Question number 14. For how long do the caterpillars eat mulberry leaves? Option A. 10 to 15 days. Option B. 20 to 30 days. Option C. 25 to 30 days. Option D. 5 to 10 days. The correct answer is. Option C. 25 to 30 days. The caterpillars eat mulberry leaves 25 to 30 days. After that it will stop eating and move to a next stage of its life cycle called pupa. Question number 15. Pashmina shawls are found in. Option A. South America. Option B. Kashmir. Option C. South Africa. Option D. Gujarat. The correct answer is. Option B. Kashmir. Wool is also obtained from goat hair. The under fur of Kashmir goat is soft. It is woven into fine shawls called Pashmina shawls. Question number 16. Which of the following is the correct order of the processes involved in the processing of silk from the cocoons? Option A. Spinning, reeling, dyeing. Option B. Reeling, dyeing, weaving. Option C. Dyeing, spinning, weaving. Option D. Degumming, reeling, dyeing. The correct answer is Option B. 
reeling, dyeing, weaving. Reeling is done in special machines, which unwind the threads or fibers of silk from the cocoon. Silk fibers are then spun into silk threads and dyed, which are woven into silk cloth by weavers. Question number 17. In South America wool is obtained from which of the following animals? Option A. Goat and sheep. Option B. Angora goat. Option C. Llama and alpaca. Option D. Yak and sheep. The correct answer is Option C. Llama and alpaca. Llama and alpaca are the animals from which the wool is obtained in South America. Question number 18. During which of the following seasons sheep are kept indoors and fed on leaves, grain and dry fodder? Option A. Summer season. Option B. Rainy season. Option C. Winter season. Option D. Spring season. The correct answer is Option C. Winter season. During winter season, sheets are kept indoors and fed on leaves, grains, and dry fodder. Question number 19. Which of the following fibers have the physical properties given below? I. Smooth to touch. 2. High tensile strength. 3. Absorbs one third of its weight of water. Option A. Cotton. Option B. Silk. Option C. Woolen. Option D. Rayon. The correct answer is Option C. Woolen. Woolen fibers are smooth to touch, have high tensile strength, and absorbs one third of its weight of water. Question number 20. A. Which of the following breeds of sheep are found only in Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh? Option A. Bakhrawal. Option B. Rampur Busher. Option C. Nali. Option D. Lohi. The correct answer is. Option B. Rampur Busher. Rampur Busher variety of sheep is found in Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.